ladies and gents of the YouTubes, welcome back. Well, I didn't really plan on making a video today, um, but we had a big windstorm and all the power is out and there's trees and stuff everywhere because, you know, the wildfire kind of messed up the, uh, the old forest and whatnot. Wildfire action, wildfire action. Yeah, burnt all this, all this big time and the wind is nuts. If you can see those trees just really bending. The last thing I want to do is have a tree fall on me while I'm freaking driving. But uh, yeah, I can't get to the shop the normal way. So we're trying to go over the mountain and through the woods. And I heard that there was a fire somewhere as well on the radio. But uh, I can't even call U-Haul to tell them that we can't be open because we got no signals. But yeah, you can see the uh, go wire wildfire did a number big time over here. It's hard to see, but I can see a fire over there somewhere, and I don't know where exactly that is. But that is not good. Crap. Just one thing after another, man. I tell you, we just can't catch a freaking break out here. The wind is so gnarly. So yeah, we're uh, out here. Small fires my, throughout the Monterey Bay area, with the majority of those in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Yeah, at that's where we're at. This morning, a report of a fire near the intersection of King Creek Road and Blue Ridge Drive. Oh man, at that's not far from my house. This morning, a report of a fire near the intersection of the Gaffigan Mill Road and Highway Nine. Yeah, the, that fire is right over there, and our house is at the bottom of this hill. Oh, not again. So. That's my wife right there. She left an hour before I did. I thought she was able to get through and uh, we just met up. All right, headed down our road now and I can see smoke over in that direction, like big time. I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, like right in there. That's a fire. And that's only a couple miles away. Son of a turkey. And you can see, it's like, there is still stuff to burn, even though I guess like everything's scorched, but holy cow. We just went through this like, I don't know, five months ago is when the fire came through. It's crazy, you can uh, barely see the road. <laughs> it's like, almost like snow. That's how much the wind has been blowing the leaves around. Oh, a nice little tree right there. We'll uh, avoid that one. Thank you very much. But yeah, super, super crazy weather we're having out here, which yesterday it was like 75 and for January. That's pretty amazing. But uh, I'll take the cold and the rain over this, this wind and fire business any day of the week. California is wearing heavy on me. They've actually been doing a ton of work to our road. That little section right there was a slide out and uh, all new guardrail and all reinforced retaining wall, kind of nice. But honestly, the whole road is a little bit sketchy. There's like a 600 foot drop over there. And you can see that fire pretty good right now. It, uh, that's burning. That is burning. Well, we are back up on the mountaintop now because there was a tree down in the time that we came up the road. Uh, a tree had fallen and I don't have a chainsaw with me and it was a big tree, so couldn't get it, couldn't pull it with the truck. Not to mention it was too long and still attached to uh, the old ground ski. So yeah, we're uh, backtracking around here and uh, trying to see what the heck's going on. So yeah, kind of sketchy, but uh, got to do a little limbo underneath the uh, wire right there. That's always awesome. So after a couple hours of driving around, we made it to the shop hung out there for a while. Uh, my wife took off. She's going to take the baby to her parents' house. And um, 
try to get some work done today. As far as me, no getting work done without power. And I made it back here to the house because after what we experienced last time with the, uh, you know, lack of help and resources as far as fighting the fire, um, this time, if the fire's not crazy, I'd stay and fight it myself. Um, but I'm gonna jump on the three-wheeler, take a ride and see if we can see any smoke. Uh, this is, what a crazy day. <laughs> Just wanted to get up and, you know, go to work today and stuff. We have a ton of stuff to do. We're way too busy to be taking, you know, no electricity days. But what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, and my generator doesn't want to start here at the house. That's awesome, too. So, town here is just an absolute mess. There's lines to get into the gas station, as usual. And that right there is why I normally have 25 gallons of gas on hand because uh, we're not doing that. But everything's already closed anyways. Restaurants aren't allowed to be open, so none of that's going on. And it's gonna be getting awfully dark, awfully quick. Alrighty guys, day two of our little storm situation. You can see I had some uh, branches out of the old redwoods fall. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing crazy though, nothing crazy at all. But uh, still no power. Oh, the creek's got a lot of leaves in it, though. Oh, yeah. We need rain. Big time. What do you two dudes think, huh? You guys are enjoying it. Hanging out with me because I'm not working. What do you think, Thor? Huh? You like hanging out? Yeah, good boy, huh? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Alrighty guys, so here on day two of our current power outage, I got the generator running. Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but apparently I got some bad gas. Uh, I ended up having to drain the tank completely, clean the carburetor, go through everything, but uh, she fired up for us. And now at least we have power at the house. I'm charging that up. Um, unfortunately, some of the stuff in the refrigerator has already went bad. And we are all too used to this because with the wildfires, I lost all our all the food and the refrigerator. At least this time we won't lose the refrigerator, but uh, which is good because it's brand new ski and it was like two grand. So um, don't really feel like spending Sportster money on another refrigerator. I'd rather buy a Sportster and chop it all I've been thinking about is working on bikes and I haven't been able to work on bikes for two days and we're super busy at the shop so I am not uh not super pleased with this whole power outage situation but nothing I can do about it so I'm gonna go grab the new bike and uh we're gonna go for a little ride nothing else to do go for a little putts well guys as you can see the gas station is still slammed still no power in town Oh yeah, everyone is having a good time with this one. Mm-hmm. At least I'm out riding. All right, guys, so when I came in this morning, we got power today. It's awesome. Um, we also have internet, so we are busy, busy, busy boxing up and shipping everything that we sold on eBay the last couple days. So if you ordered something, there's a stack right there. We got more stuff to box up. It's headed your way. Thanks for your patience. Sorry we didn't have power for a few days. So yeah, absolute craziness. Um, during our little adventure on day one, I was really concerned that my wife and I and the baby were gonna get stuck on the side of the mountain. Uh, that was really kind of scary. We tried to go back to the house, a tree had fallen and it was a giant tree. I didn't have a chainsaw and it was still attached to the hillside. So I couldn't like pull it with my truck and it was super long. You know, the trees out here are freaking huge. So pulling them out of the way isn't, uh, just wasn't an option, but we ended up making it down here to the shop safely. And then, yeah, but, uh, Man, California sure do, does have a lot of craziness. Um, 
wildfires, mudslides, trees coming down, high winds. What are we really doing here? I have no idea. But uh, we are going to get back to playing with motorcycles today. So, um, you know, thanks for tuning in. If you happen to be new, please subscribe while you're here, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.